It's an absolute thriller on ice. We spoke yeah, about having the yips the earlier, yeah. right? It's hard to get out of it. And the best thing, a lack of bra afterwards. Lack of bra uh, after, yeah. A lack of bra How's it do, legends? I'm doing my introduction today on top of a mountain in the Swiss Alps. I have St. Moritz down in the valley below me where we are playing in the Cricket on Ice Festival. I'm playing for the St. Moritz Cricket Club. Yesterday I had a day off, so I'll roll in a bit of footage now just to show you what I got up to and make you just a little bit jealous and make you want to come to Switzerland too. Shooting star in the sky, comes to hope in your eyes. Going, my friend. Good to see you, right? see you too, man. Things? Yeah, well, what's not to like, eh? <laughs> what a spot. What a spot. Oh, it's oh. Obi! <laughs> oh, what timing. The main man himself. Done. Jack holding lovely loopy stuff. Yeah, you'll be looking there. Oh, oh, oh good. Charge. Oh. <laughs> Hit the rubbish. Come, Connor, predictions for the game? Playing for Twin Cavaliers against the Tom Lees. I think we're in with a good chance. Pitch is looking good today. Yeah. Fast outfield as well. Yeah. So <laughs> Slippery outfield. Slippery they just pierced the gap and it's done. And the best thing, a lack of bra afterwards. Lack of bra eh? after, yeah. Lack of. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's all about. Nice day of cricket on the ice. Followed by a lack of bra in the beer. And beers <laughs> the boys. Cheers, guys. What do we got here? Beer fridge, the beer mound. The beer fridge, okay. <laughs> when in Switzerland, you don't need a cooler box. You just chuck it all in the ice, eh? Yeah. What do you reckon? Perfect cooler. Perfect cooler. The beverage snowman. Yeah. I've got my pipe kit. It's like a well-oiled no, machine here. Max head uh, bun slicer. Oh, delish. Excellent. Oh, I'm the beer runner. Kind of the beer runner. I Chef today, Pete and Jason. Here we go. Does that look familiar? There we go. It's look at that. that. Some inner farm. Uh, no, there we go. Sure, thanks. What do you want, guys? We played our first match of the festival against the German Cricket Club. Unfortunately, we didn't get off to the best of start with a heavy defeat, and I didn't get any many runs either. So, hopefully, we can have an improvement in today's match against the Guards Cricket Club. So, looking for a bounce back and hopefully we can get the big W. Just a massive thank you to Pete and the Cricket on Ice committee for inviting me to play in this festival. What an absolute privilege. And as you can see guys, what's not to love in the Swiss Alps, playing in San Moritz Cricket on Ice Festival. Hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll roll in the footage now. Toby, five runs to get, seven balls. It's an absolute thriller on ice. I think there's a bit of tension in the there dressing room. There is a bit room. of tension. This competition, so what, we had a tie yesterday. This one might be a tie as well. I need to see a super over. Oh. We won yesterday. Okay. Yeah. The less said about my batting, the better. But um, let's just say Jack's GoPro content will make the edit, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> it's been great fun being involved. Great brilliant. to catch up with yourself. And, yeah, um, brilliant. Toby. Hopefully, we win this one as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, two off, four. Two off, four, yeah. One to tie. We need another tie. Everyone in. Oh, he's got. Oh, oh. The old Chumians just sneak over the line. Hard break, Jack. So close, man. Who was that? Literally three balls. Yeah, three balls. Another tie oh. would have been good. Yeah. That would have been the third. It's GoPro done. Inception. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you got a bit of pace on you there, hey? That's, That's all right. All right. Yeah. I get annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> it was great to see Jack and Toby again from Cricket District. And a big thanks to Jack in particular for the incredible slow motion footage at the start of the video. I'm sure most of you follow their channels already, but if you haven't done so, click the card above and check them out. Now it's time for our match to get underway. So let's join the captain at the toss. Okay, tails. It is a tail. Tails it is. We'll give you a bat. Fantastic. Thank All right, you. have a great Best day. Best of luck. All right, Best cheers. So we've won the toss. We're in to bowl. Hopefully we can uh, make a better performance against uh, the Guards Cricket Club compared to the German Cricket Club. Let's go. 
Thank you to the Can You Cricket patrons and members for your continued support. My calendar is filling up fast with matches at patrons clubs. So if you'd like me to play at your club, follow the card above and become a channel patron. So I'm here with Pete, he's part of the Cricket and Ice Committee. Pete, do you want to just tell us a little about, it, about this amazing festival? We've been going since 1988 here in San Moritz, um, beautiful in the mountains. So San Moritz Cricket Club, this is our home ground. The only cricket club in the world whose home pitch is a frozen lake. And what you've basically got is a thick layer of ice, probably about half a metre thick. We get a same machine that um, prepares the ski slopes. Then we have an area in the middle where we clear the snow. You have ice and we nail, a, we nail a wicket in. We started with three teams. In the early days, we had a few pros over, Alan Lamb, David Gower. Last year, we went up to eight teams and two pitches. I think at the last count, 25 nationalities. And you can see the atmosphere is great and the sun's shining. Where else would you sooner be? Come to Cricket on Ice. As Pete alluded to, this festival is open to any team that is able to attend, but there are limited spots available. So if you would like to get a team over to San Moritz next year, drop an email to the address in the description. I would say just, just keep the wickets in hand, keep ticking, and we should be fine, right? Yeah. yeah. No! No, no, no! Wait! No! Yeah. Is that a free hit, Mr. Bravo! Free hit, eh? Shot! Is it going? That's perfect, man. I think just Hit the gap. Just hit the ground and then I think this gets through. Yeah, 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 exactly. Be careful on the back foot. I think how you play this is perfect. If you don't go on the back foot, block out the balls, you will get runs made. Yeah, yeah. You got seven eight runs now. Yeah, perfect. No! 
No! No! No! no. Really? That's harsh. Going down? Very harsh. Oh well. Lucky go. Well down the That's what I thought. Yeah, it looked like yeah, you were shot. Lucky then, because we thought that from here. Mm. And he bowled it. It was a cutter as well, so it's also spinning. Show the ref the video later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jason, let's speak about that bowling effort. Man. Yeah, it was um, a, probably a, a, a tale of three overs, where, where the first two were, well, I'd say, actually quite reasonable. Um, and then I bowled uh, not so great in the last over and pulled off two wickets from a long hop and a full toss. So like, I'll take it. Nothing like a full toss to bag you a few wickets. Eh? <laughs> How often do we say uh, the bad ball often gets the yeah. wickets? We're 17 or so for two or four. What are you predicting? You think well, we can? I, I think we're okay in the rate. We only need six and over. Yeah. And on this, and on this, this, this shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah. So if these guys stay in for a little bit, I think we're still in with a good shot. Third and fourth playoff up for grabs, eh? Absolutely. Let's All to play for. All to play for. Last over 15. What are we thinking? Predictions? What are we? It's a doddle. We'll get it in a four ball. Six on the final ball to win the game. Francis will be dancing down the pit. <laughs> Francis is our savior. Uh, uh, calculate 14 for the tie. Uh, 14. Given, given the game yesterday. Oh, of course. Uh, Run, yes, run, 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 run! Run! Let's stay here. It's all right. Go on, run, 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 run! Run it! Oh, great oh, yeah. run! So with 15 runs needed off the final over and with wides counting as two runs, unfortunately the guards bowler got the yips, bowled several wides and we managed to limp over the line for the victory. I struggled to bowl straight at the best of times so I totally relate to the feeling of not knowing when the over will end because the ball is going everywhere but on the pitch. I really felt for the bowler but what I will say is that there were 40 extras in the innings so the wides in the last over may not have been the only problem. But in the end we came away victorious and that means we would play in the third and fourth playoff. We yeah, spoke about having the yips earlier, yeah. right? Yeah. When it starts happening, it's even uh, yeah. it's hard to get out of it. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit of a strange victory. Yeah. Yeah. Cricket's a harsh game, man. If ever there's a burglary, that is it. So an absolutely thrilling match to finish off there. So that means we are in the third and fourth playoff. Unfortunately, not a great innings for me. Thought it was sliding down, but sometimes you get them in your way, sometimes the other way. So that means I'm averaging a healthy 1.5 for the tournament so far. Sometimes it's not really about the scores you get. It's not really about the match, but about the places that you visit and the people you meet. And in this case, that's far more important than scoring runs. Although it would be nice to score some runs. Thanks guys for watching the video. Really appreciate your support. And we'll see you in the next match, the third and fourth playoff. Cheers guys. All right, and I hate to disturb everybody, but now let's look like we just won a match. Yeah!